there's no doubt the electrification of the automobile is well underway. However, the tipping point, that inflection point when more consumers choose to buy an electric vehicle over a gasoline-powered one, is still a ways away. There are many reasons for this, but the most obvious one is infrastructure. There's a gas station, or three, at every intersection. The electric car world, meanwhile, still hasn't bothered to agree on a charging standard 220 volt, 440 volt like Tesla supercharger stations, 880 volt like Porsche says it's doing with the Mission E. You tell me. We don't yet know what the electric future will look like. For now it remains a chicken or egg scenario. Which will come first, the cars or the infrastructure? I say who cares because I just drove the stake. Meet the blueprint for the immediate future of the internal combustion engine, the all-new Mercedes-Benz M256, the gasoline-powered version of the brand's new inline-6, available, to some, in the new Mercedes-Benz S500. This engine changes everything. Yes, as a certified, certifiable car guy, I'm digging the fact that Mercedes has dumped the fine but unlovable V6 in favor of the layout that served them so well for so many years. Put into animal farm terms, inline 6 good, V6 bad. Or maybe like this, all 6 cylinders are good, but some are more good than others. However, that's not the big picture. This is, there are no belts. The M256 employs a 48 volt electrical system, so the AC compressor and water pump are electric. The alternator is integrated into the starter motor, both of which actually compromise a part called the integrated starter generator, or ISG. It's an electric motor wrapped around the crankshaft, sandwiched between the engine block and the transmission. There's also an electric supercharger, as well as a conventional turbocharger. From a dead stop, and because electric motors provide 100% of their torque at 0 RPM, the ISG instantly spins the crankshaft giving the S500 a quick jump off the line. Even with the traction control fully enabled, you can chirp the rear tires, 